Hello, I'm Raymond Mayfield, and it's great to be back with you today. I produce videos every day, just about every day, and it goes all across this nation and even into foreign countries, and I appreciate you listening. I thank God for the message that uh, God has informed me that He wants me to do, and that's what I'm doing to fulfill His will in my life and I want to say that I'm at www.raymondmayfield.com also raymondmayfield.com I preach on a variety of subjects from New Testament to the Old Testament and I trust that something I say will be a blessing I try to stay strictly with the Word of God I don't try to deviate from that at all uh, and offer opinions I just try to read and uh, Declare the inspired word of God. And I have two counseling sites, counselorsofpeace.com and counselorsoftruth.com, and I do counseling over the telephone. Be glad to hear from you. I want to talk to you about orders from God today. In my last message, Moses confronted Pharaoh and told him to let my people go. Things didn't work out too well, and the Israelites were forced into hard labor. They were upset with Moses because Pharaoh wouldn't let them go, and Moses was upset with God. And God, you haven't delivered your people at all, was the response that Moses had to God. That's pretty bad when the Israelites are upset, and Moses are upset with God, and everybody's upset. But God's going to help them through this. In Exodus 6 and 1, Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh. In verse 2, God spoke to Moses and said, I am the Lord. And God promises him in various ways, in essence, victory. God told him to go back and talk to the children of Israel, but they hearkened not unto Moses for anguish of spirit and cruel bondage. They were discouraged and worked so hard they did not want to listen. In verse number 9. And once again, the Lord said in verse number 11, Go and speak to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, that he let the children of Israel go out of the land. And uh, Moses said, My own people won't even listen to me. Then how is Pharaoh going to hear me? In verse number 12, he asked that God that question. Then the Lord ordered Moses and Aaron to return to the people of Israel and to Pharaoh and demanding that the people leave. And uh, demanding that he let the people go. Then there is uh, something going on. Uh, the listing of the heads of the clans of the various tribes of Israel are, are named there. And Moses once again is monished to go tell Pharaoh to let the people go. In verse 30, Moses said, I can't do it. I'm no speaker. Why would Pharaoh listen to me? Then the Lord said to Moses, I have appointed you my ambassador to the Pharaoh and your brother shall be your spokesman. And of course he is speaking about Aaron. And the Lord told Moses to tell everything I say unto you to Aaron. And the Lord said, I will cause Pharaoh to stubbornly refuse, and I will multiply my miracles in the land of Egypt. I want to tell you today, friend, God is a God of miracles. God has performed miracles over and over again throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament. He still performs miracles today. And if you'll believe Him and trust Him, He can perform a miracle in your life. Because never forget that God is a God of miracles. And the Lord said, I will cause Pharaoh to stubbornly refuse, and I will multiply my miracles in the land. Praise God. Even then, Pharaoh won't listen to me in Exodus 7 and 4. He won't pay any attention to what I say. But the Lord said, I will crush Egypt with a final major disaster, and they will know that I am the Lord. I want to tell you to know we're living in a world right now that is not a very obedient to God, and they don't listen to God, and they don't pay much attention to God in a lot of circles. Uh, I want to tell you one day this world is going to know that God is God. The judgment of God is going to fall upon all the people that don't believe in God, and the judgment of God is about to fall upon Pharaoh, and he is going to be destroyed. 
I want to tell you, trust God with all your heart. Believe God in all your heart that God is going to deliver you from all the things in life. If you're going through a difficult situation in life, uh, like the children of Israel were worked overtime and it seemed like they were just crushed beneath the blows, uh, remember God had a miracle right around the corner for, uh, for them and God has a miracle in your life. If you will pray, if you will read the Word of God, if you'll seek God, He will give you deliverance and bring you out. This is Raymond Mayfield. I love you very much. I'll continue this very soon. And thank you so much for listening to this today.